Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to by Sheikh Ahmed Didad. And this one says that when the enemy applaud your argument. And this one was a debate a young pastor or should I say a Christian had with um, Ahmed Didad about um, crucifixion of Jesus Christ. So he was asking for clarity of Islam if Islam is truly the right religion or if Islam is the truth so he actually needed a clarification from um, Sheikh Ahmed did that so when we get down to the video we can be able to hear some of the things you understand he said to him before he was um, upload so if today happens to be the first time of you taking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my facebook and instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys before we get on to the video i'm a theologian and i make this video not to discredit anyone's religion this is basically for educational purposes and i believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so Let's get down to this video and check this out. See that uh, Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never mm -hmm. died. Okay. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become mm -hmm. a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition. But mm -hmm. my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we, we the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, Hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a Let Muslim. Me. I prove this to you. The brother said, now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place, mm -hmm. he is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. Okay. No million sons can help him okay. to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. Okay. But now if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36, that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the last supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the last supper. So after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there, mm. ten of them, ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum, same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, salam alaikum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly? Your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? <laughs> did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said, no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit where he didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariyun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost you know, the spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, hmm. that now he's dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay, people talking. Because Mark chapter 14, verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. 
So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you English man? He said, yes. So they were not there. All the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he's not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadaya varijalaya. He says, Behold my hands and my feet. Inni anahua. I am the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? Inni, most certainly I, anahua. Husuni wanzuru. Say, Handle me and see. Fainna ruha laysa lahu lamun wa izamun. For a spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened man? We thought the man was dead and buried. Hmm. So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking. He says, Aindakum hahuna ta'am. Have you got here anything to eat? Fana waluhu juz'am min samakin wa shay'an min shahadi asalin fa akhaza wa akala kuddamahum. And they gave him a piece of broil fish and a honeycomb. And he took it and he ate in the very sight to prove what? There is a ghost, there is a spook, there is a spirit. What is he proving? I'm a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, no, he is. He said, he's not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing, amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I'm not, you say, he is. Jesus says, I'm not God, I'm a servant of God. He said, no, he's God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yom al Qiyamah. They said, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. He said, no, he can do everything. I said, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I'm the same fellow. Good. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay? A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yomul Kiyama, everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he is not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lies jiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. Hmm. That's a very interesting um, video, what um, Ahmed did it, explaining um, the crucifixion of um, Jesus Christ. Well, if you look at it, you understand by the Islamic um, belief, of course, they believe that Jesus Christ was a prophet and a messenger of um, God, but then they do not see him as God. And that's why whatever he is stating in the Bible is to prove that Jesus Christ was um, human and that's why he was trying to explain when Jesus Christ met the disciple when according to the uh, gospel of Mark spoke that um, the disciple um, fled and then therefore when Jesus Christ appeared to them and then he says to them um, peace be upon to you that's the asham asalamu alaikum or asalamu alaikum that's um, in Arabic we translate to be that may peace of God be upon you 
and then from the of course um we are told that the disciples thought that he was a ghost and then that's why he says that they should come and hold his hands and then as proof to know to whether he is human or he is a ghost that resulted for them to give him the fish and then the honeycomb and then he took it and then therefore he ate just to prove that he is not a spirit but a human which according to Amedida shows that Jesus Christ was human and was never crucified. Well, that's according to the Islamic belief though the Christians in a sense actually have their own um, belief which differs from that even though of course we are fully aware that of course um, the Bible was actually on uh, the account of Jesus Christ like uh, the gospel of the Mark, Matthew, Luke they were actually um, historian and not actually disciples of Jesus Christ that actually witnessed whatever that was happening as of uh, the time of uh, Jesus Christ but then nevertheless we have our own belief um, system and then I would not like to argue with um, anyone because when you look at it at the end of the day he therefore uh, there the young man that was asking the very questions I do not know if at the end of the day he took Shahada or not but Amedida wanted to have a debate with one of the Christians um, scholars so that they can be able to discuss the crucifixion of um, Jesus Christ to whether it was allegedly truth or it was a lie but I do not know how the outcome of this um, video ended if the young man accept what um, Didat was saying or Didat's aim was basically to have an argument with the scholar I do not know because I know that some of you might know better than I do and it's all welcome at the comment section. You can drop your thought and opinion concerning this. And then for some of you, of course, who are going to contribute um, concerning this video, I want you to be um, very objective in trying to write your contribution rather than trying to condemn um, Christianity because this happens to be their belief so i would say that let's try to be very careful on how we respond to questions or topic of this um very um nature okay you can be able to try to educate okay try to educate or try to explain so that people can kind of understand what you're trying to say rather than trying to condemn others or say things you understand or make it look like um, we Christians don't even know what we are serving because I just felt like at the end of the day it is God himself who knows um, better and that's the reason why I says that I would not like to engage myself in any argument concerning um, this very um, topic so I would like to see your thoughts and opinion at the comment section. I know that a lot of you will have things to say concerning um, this. And then I'll be happy to actually discuss this with um, you guys. So this is the end of my video. If you like my reaction, you should like, share and subscribe. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section. And I'm going to check it out. So you remain blessed and i see you in my next video. Bye-bye.